In this section, we're going to talk about creating an exploded view. An exploded view is a very handy tool when you're creating assemblies or even multi-body parts and you need to spread them out for detailed drawings. Now there are several different ways that we can go about this process. We'll start by looking at our hub assembly. From your configuration manager, if you right click on a configuration, you can make an exploded view. You can also find this from your assembly tab, exploded view and explode line sketch. Let's start by going to hub assembly and let's make a new configuration. We're gonna call this new configuration bearing explode. Now in this configuration, what I wanna do is hide or suppress certain components. I don't need to see any of these bolts. I can hide them or suppress them. I also wanna go ahead and hide things like the hex flat nut, so I'll suppress that. This hub, suppress that. And what I'm left with, if we take a look at a quick section view, is the outside of our hub, the two bearings, and the spacer inside. So what I wanna do is show this information in an exploded view. If we go back to our default configuration, you'll notice that none of the components are suppressed. They've only been suppressed in our bearing explode. Now I wanna right click, create a new exploded view, and now I can explode in various manners. SolidWorks 2015 added a new option for us called a radial step. Let's take a look at regular step. The first thing I wanna do is take this bearing, and pull it outward. Now you'll notice that I created explode step one and it shows the component. If I ever wanna go back and edit it, I can simply right click and edit or select it and manually move it. Now once the explode step is created, that amount is located down here. I also wanna take a look at exploding multiple components. Let's go ahead and drag our spacer out and let's drag the bearing out. So now what we can do is select a view, for instance, an ISO, and make sure that everything is in line. We also have some auto space components on drag. Let's go ahead and undo all these steps and start by selecting all of our components. So I'm gonna select the two bearings as well as the spacer and take a look at auto space components on drag. Now in this specific case, that doesn't work because this back bearing needs to come out in a certain direction. But note that we have control over how far the components are spaced from each other and how far we drag them out individually. I can use my auto drag and then I can manually move the one bearing that I need to. It gives us a great way to move a lot of components in a single step. Once we say okay, now we have a sub step in our configuration. If we expand this, you notice that we have this information here that shows a chain. We can do an exploded line sketch and connect certain items together. For instance, these two bearings. Now I have a dashed line that is a root that allows me to connect these components and show that information in my detailed drawings later. Let's go ahead and rebuild this. Right click on the explode view and notice that I have an animate collapse option. Another handy feature because we can save this animation out, play it on a loop, replay it from the beginning, or show any steps. With the explode, we can also collapse and we can animate the explode, showing the components going outward. Again, another handy step showing the assembly process for certain components. Let's take a look at another example. So one of these bearings is a single part, and inside the single part, we have individual configurations. We can add exploded steps for individual configurations to do things like move multi-body components away from each other. So as you can see, this currently is two different configurations where one of the components was simply moved. But inside this configuration, we can do an exploded view, grab a component, and manually move it as well. Let's say we wanted to move it upward. And once we say OK, we now have this exploded view, which again we can collapse or explode. Exploded views within a part have less functionality than they do in an assembly, but they are still available if you're dealing with multi-body parts. So now that we've taken a look at creating these exploded views, let's do one more example. I'll go back to my default configuration, create a new exploded view, and just take a quick look at the radial step. Now I wanna select all four of my lug bolts, and then I'm going to pull them out radially. Now I have a few options and a few settings. I need to select a direction, 
and you'll notice that it's currently selecting the Z direction. If I select a component such as this round edge, I can go ahead and pull all of these out in a single direction. Let's go ahead and pull them out. Even though it doesn't apply to this example, you'll notice that I can pull those bolts out in a radial direction. Very handy when you're dealing with revolved parts that have radial components, makes it a lot easier to pull this out than it did in the past. Again, this doesn't really apply to our specific example, but I wanted to show you the tool because it applies to a lot of revolved parts.